when I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! You're not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid! A bioterrorist! Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life! And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! This ain't something that can be fixed! Then... At least show me how to control it. Ain't got time! Then you face coming! And she knows I'm on to her plan! Fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute. Stop. Let's talk about this. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. terrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards... Or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um... No, he didn't... he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life-and-death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do... whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because... <laughs> Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay.
Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there! No! Betty, don't! Really? Still nothing. Well... Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? I'm a conduit. What? I said... I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from... from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tell him. Ah! So, Betty. Maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Wake up! Wake up. Picking up my mic now. Picking up my mic now. All right. So, what I guess you missed out on, uh, you missed a bit of the prologue. Basically, what I'm going to be go going through on this game, this is one of those games where there's both good and dark choices. I'm going to be going with good side on this playthrough. I will be doing a second playthrough. So I'll be having a little bit of fun here. Uh, this is a game It's called Infamous Second Son. It's the third game in the Infamous series. Uh, I, I really love the Infamous series overall. Uh, this game is kind of, a, kind of a side game, really. It's not really a spirit... It's more of a spiritual uh, sequel than anything. It's not a direct sequel from the other two games. But, uh, yeah, it's still really fun. So basically, in this universe, we have these beings called conduits, which have different powers, for lack of a better word, where they can basically control different uh, pieces of matter. And this kid we're playing as is called Delson Rowe. And basically, he's a sponge. If he comes into direct contact with a conduit, he's able to absorb their powers and then basically use them himself. God. How could anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? So as you can see, we're gonna go ahead it's been a, it's been like two years since I played this game. We're gonna try and go we're gonna go for expert here. I've already gotten the trophy for this, but 
Yeah, I mean, we ain't, we ain't no bitches, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna go for some challenge here. Oh my God, Betty. Delson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah. Did you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? <laughs> Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here. We're a comish. We protect our own. Pretty well, much, Elrith. Pretty much. What happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not. One of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. Higgly piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. That's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill. I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm hmm. Just... It would put him at the top of the list, but. We, they don't actually know. We admitted that we are a conduit, but St. Augustine believed that we were lying, we were joking. She doesn't believe we're an actual conduit. They don't know, because we literally just absorbed our first power. He had, we had no idea this guy was a conduit until literally about five minutes ago. Delson, oh. Damn it, I thought we were going to lose you there. Concrete the legs? It's a thing more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. You're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her... Con he cannot absorb their personality. Yeah. Personality's all him. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie. I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... <laughs> all right so i will say this as much as i love infamous this was overall probably my least favorite story all right i got this whole thing figured out okay. out of the whole game we out of the whole series the town, we load up at the all you can leech condo power buffet we maybe swing by the space so long as he touches them he gets their power you do he has to physically touch them 